how is it going. In today's video I'm going to attempt to make a supercharger, so let's just jump right into it. <sighs> Alright, but what is a supercharger to begin with? Well, a supercharger is basically a part that is used to pump air into a combustion engine, so you get more torque, more horsepower, and changes the sound of the engine and all of that shit that we all know and love. Also, why am I attempting to make one? Well, as you saw in the intro, they are very expensive. And for a good reason, they need very tight tolerances, they have to be balanced, so big they spin very fast, and yeah, all of that good shit. So, do I think that I am able to achieve the same kind of tolerances out of that with an FDM 3D printer? No, but I don't give a f also, I know that I'm not the first one to attempt to make one, I know that Major Hardware made one, I know that a few other YouTubers made one, but they never put it to these spaces, like, they run it with a motor and all that, but they never strap it to a combustion engine. So I just want to know if they make more power, because a supercharger is pointless if it doesn't make more power. Also, I want to see if the sound of the engine changes, because I just love how the Dodge Charger sounds. It's, to me, is mesmerizing. N nevertheless, we are getting out of hand here, whatever, so let's just jump right into Fusion 360 in which my clone is already been working on a CAD mode. Let's see what he has came up with. Alright, so that design seems that it w should work, so let's print it out, shall we? Damn boy. <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, we have the printed parts, so we need to assemble it, and you know what that means. What follows is a brief construction montage.
so the supercharger is done. I actually have it. Oh yeah, here it is. While you were watching, I attached this adapter and this hose because I want to measure the static pressure, which is the next test. I want to see if we can get any kind of measurable boost. And beware, this is not measuring boost. This is measuring just static pressure, which is how much pressure this thing can build up. To, in order to measure boost, we have to attach this to an engine. And the sad thing is that I don't have anything else than a two-stroke weed eater, which I don't think that is very that it is very interesting. But I might be able to get this thing into a quad, ATV quad. Um, I think that they are all the same. Whatever. Just leave a comment down below if you want to see this thing on an ATV or just in a weed eater. I'm gonna do it for the funny because I want to see if this thing can survive. But let's just spin it up, shall we? It actually makes boost. That's insane. Ahora sí se hizo mierda. Y lo subiste a la más cerca. Se le fue adicto. Vamos a respirar. Tipo... Dale, enfocale el coso que se vea la presión. Chao. No. Voy. Ahí va. Vale. Sin miedo, ¿vale? Va a explotar, boludo. ¡Uh! Alright, so I did the maths and the maximum pressure was. 120 millimeters of mercury, which is roughly 0.7 psi. 0.7 psi is a very low pressure for a supercharger. But to be fair, I don't think that it was spinning that fast. And also, I think that my issue were how much play I have in the bearings and all of that. But I'm still very surprised that this thing was able to make boost or pressure or fuck it, whatever. So I think that I have enough of a proof of concept to try to attach this to a combustion engine. But for that, I want your help. First, tell me, do you want to see this attached to a weed eater motor, to an ATV, or something like that? Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions on how I can improve this, just leave it down in the comments and I will try to implement those. Last but not least, don't forget they have a Patreon page if you want to support this work. And well, this is everything for today. I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining or both. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time.